I had like job after job after job and just kept getting fired. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't have a high school education. I didn't have a diploma. I failed ninth grade three times, as the world knows now. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I was basically going nowhere. And I felt like when I made the Slim Shady EP, I told the production people that I was working with, FBT, I told them, I was like, yo, if this doesn't work, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to be 23 years old. I, I gotta get out. I gotta do something. You know what I'm saying? I gotta I gotta leave. I, I gotta I gotta quit. I gotta quit. I gotta get a job. I gotta do something. You know what I'm saying? And then we just so happened to go to to go to L.A. like that same year. You know, and Dre heard the tape, and Dre gave us a call. So, you know, I was at a, I, I was reaching a boiling point, man. I was getting into a lot of drugs and doing a lot of stuff because I was so depressed. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, that's why I say, when I say Dre saved my life, I mean literally saved my life, you know, so I feel like I owe him a lot. I mean, now you got people, you got like underground kids now talking about me like Eminem's a pop artist now, blah, 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 because he made one song that was catchy or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then MTV took it and, and the whole pop market took it. But if you listen to my album, I ain't changed... You know what I'm saying? My album is 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 probably the rawest album this year. Whether or not I'm white, last time I checked, I was. I guess I looked in the mirror this morning, I was combing my hair like, wow, I sure am white today. Like I go through phases with my daughter's mother, like constantly. Like we've been going off and on for like almost nine years, you know, and it's different phases of like our relationship where I want to kill her, you know what I'm saying, and I don't know if you ever felt like you wanted to kill somebody before, but I've wanted to, yo, I've, there's been times where I literally have wanted to kill her, and when I feel that way, if I write some, I, I mean, I've had songs, I've had songs about killing her for like four years, five years now, that nobody's even heard. I've killed her like 11 times. On my album, I've got my like, happy songs, my crazy songs, my serious songs, like all jokes aside, you know what I'm saying? Like Rock Bottom and If I Had, those are songs like, you know, okay, I've slipped my wrist 90 million times, I've cut my own head off, you know what I'm saying? But this is how I really feel, you know? That's why I put them songs that's why I made them songs and put them on the album so people could tell, you know what I'm saying? So, so you could see for yourself, you know? It, it's, not, it's not rocket science here, it, it, you know? It's, 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 it's so clear, you know, when I'm joking and when I'm serious, but some people just don't get it. I'm probably gonna be starting my own label soon, and it's gonna be called Shady Records, and right now the artist that I'm with is MC Proof, and he's He's on tour with me right now, and he's acting as my hype man now. And um, Bizarre Kid is another MC from Detroit. I'm trying to really, what I'm trying to do, and I, I mean, I know it, it may sound biased or whatever, but I'm really trying to kick it, kick open the doors for Detroit. 